So I'm about to leave the town of Sfat, Israel, where I've been living for the past week. Um, I've been living on this kind of commune. It's um, kind of like a place where people just come and live, and um, there's like programs and stuff. It's a place called Leave Note, and um, it's been an incredible experience. I've been uh, been definitely comfortable. Uh, I've had a bed for the entire week, which has been nice. But um, I've just met a lot of amazing people and. I uh, have had a lot of time to think about this life and spirituality and just kind of like what this city is all about. Uh, Svat draws people from all over the world. Like there's people that come here from Denver, LA, New York, uh, not really knowing what they're doing, but uh, just kind of see the city and end up staying here. And. Uh, <laughs> Um, it's really cool to just meet the different people in the city and, and uh, see the life that they built for themselves just based on kind of like a premonition of uh, what this city is all about. Um, just uh, got back from talking with this painter named Avraham from Detroit who um, kind of discovered Kabbalah when he was in college. and. Um, kind of was drawn to Israel just uh, out of kind of like looking for something in his life and has lived here for the past 15 years painting and uh, just learning and teaching about Kabbalah so it's been pretty incredible. Um, I think a lesson I learned from this week is that um, seeing so many people make a life decision to stay in one spot after living here for a week or just traveling through it kind of shows that um, when you're traveling, you might find a city that you love, and um, you know some people make the decision to stay there and make a life there. But um, the fact is that I'm traveling onward, so I need to learn to really experience the places that I'm uh, staying in while I'm there, because I may never be back to this town again.